Hey guys, it's Megan and welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating for fall, yay! Full transparency though, you will not see my front porch or my back porch or any of the bedrooms um, because none of them are decorated. <laughs> I know it was a highly requested video so I wanted to make sure I got it up for you guys. I will be taking pretty much, well not all of it, but some of it down or just adding in the Halloween stuff very soon because we like to do more of a creepy Halloween. It's fun to do when you have a family and a kid that like loves Halloween and you know, the spooky things she loves. So we just have fun having a spooky house for Halloween. So it's not perfect. There's lots of things I would love to add and buy, but this is just where I have it right now with what I already had and I'm happy with it. Like it's not perfect, but it's as good as I can get it right now, and I gotta start thinking about Halloween. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you love these decorating videos, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. So let's go back to like a week and a half ago-ish when this all began and get to decorating. It's finally happening! The fall decorations are coming down now. I have no idea how many fall boxes I have. We're taking down the Halloween ones too because before you know it, I'll be changing it up for Halloween. So I'm very curious to see how many boxes I actually have or fall. I know I have more of Halloween, but I really don't remember how many. One of my least favorite parts about decorating for the holidays is getting all of the home decor, or the holiday home decor, down from the attic. My goodness, especially when um, you don't have very good upper body strength like me, and I feel these boxes a little too heavy, and I remember that every year as I try and pull them back down and almost die. But I've got my roll, Carl says his roll, he gets sweaty and I have to try and lift. And then Lennon gets the fun roll of going through the decorations and playing with them and remembering things that she totally forgot that we had. And now she's playing with last year's Halloween costume. But hey, if she's having fun doing it while we pull down the home decor, I'm all about it. We like to make it fun while we do this. We turn on music, we dance around, we make it a fun little thing, and I'm so thankful that Carlos will get up there and not complain, and he will bring everything down for me. I basically do my decorating in stages. Stage one is taking down the decoration. Stage two, opening them up and going through them in the garage. Stage three, bringing them into the house and laying them all out and then I slowly start decorating each area. This is my little amount of fall decor. Those three boxes and those couple pillows and then I have all that Halloween decor. So I have so much more Halloween than fall. Now it's time for stage two, bringing it all inside. I love our dog, Alan Bear, but my goodness, I never thought about the fact that he might like be obsessed with my decorations and want to eat them all. It is proven to be quite a challenge with him and these fall decorations. And I can only imagine what it's gonna be like for Halloween and Christmas. I remembered I had this crate in the garage, so I wanted to grab that too to incorporate into one area where I'm still wanting to actually get some decor. I have not decorated yet. I had to go get Lennon from school, and she started arranging. This, this is what we got going on. That's all the fall I have. Look at the couch. I don't know if this is going to go here or this is going to go there. She said, I'm just going to put these pillows. How? Alan Bear, stop. No. You are going to be oh, the death of me this holiday season. Stop. Yeah, that looks, you gotta tuck the tag. Tuck the tag. Tuck the tag. And you know what I was thinking of doing? Maybe, Alan Bear! No, no, no! Alan Bear! Oh my God. I got two new things. I got this table runner, Ooh, which I'm super excited about because I really like this a lot and it has the burlap or rope, whatever this is, on the end to incorporate some brown into it, which I think is super cute. 
and it was like not very much. It was from Home Goods, I think, or Marshalls or TJ Maxx, one of those. Twelve ninety nine. It's not bad at all. I don't even know if it'll fit. Like I think it might actually be too long. I don't know, but I'll make it work or I'll take it back. So I have the receipt. But I also got this candle, pumpkin cookies. Oh, yes. It smells so good. And how cute is the top? Oh my gosh. I love it. And it was, oh, I took it off. It was $9.99. $9.99. That's not bad at all. I had planned on decorating this night, but my husband talked me into not doing it and us watching one of our favorite shows. It's called Hot Ones. I've talked about it a few times. It's a fun interview show where they eat spicy wings and as each question gets harder, the wings get hotter. So we like to eat spicy wings and watch it. So obviously I did not end up decorating that night, so it's the next day and time to make my house smell like fall with my new pumpkin cookies candle and get to decorating. I kept my dining table pretty simple this year. I added in that DIY I did from Dollar Tree for fall this year onto it. I wish I would have made two of them, but I didn't have another bucket and I just never got around to trying to make another one. But I definitely think that it would have been cuter having two, but I wanted to make it work with what I already had. So I incorporated the moss balls that were already on my dining room table for summer. I added one and two with a ceramic pumpkin that I got from the Target dollar spot and then just placed a couple pumpkins around it like I said my table is pretty simple this year um, just for fall but I'm gonna definitely change it up a lot for Halloween if I would have had some more time and some other things I would have added a little bit more to the table but for now this will do This blue and white pumpkin I got last year from Marshalls and I just love them. One of the blue one reminds me of like a Cinderella pumpkin. In this area, I still want to get some kind of other decoration for that spot, but I haven't figured out exactly what I want yet. So I just used a crate that I had in the garage and then put a um, uh, it's like a tablecloth I've had or it's it's lace and I folded it up and put that over it just to cover up the crate and then I just added some of the pumpkins that I already had I think some of them I think actually all of those are from the Target dollar spot from either last year and then this year I still want to get a piece of wall art to go above the big mirror in my dining room. I'm not sure what I want to say yet and I haven't stumbled across the perfect one, but eventually I will add something up there that says something cute. I have no idea where the footage went of me actually putting the pumpkins on the little shelves that are on the wall, um, so sorry about that, but I just played around with it. I play around with things a lot. I move them around a lot and then I decide, you know, what I end up liking. So you'll see that throughout this video. I'm constantly moving things around. So this is my dining room for fall. Like I said, there's lots of things I would love to add to it, but for now it works. I think it's pretty and it makes me feel like fall, so I'm happy with it. Now moving on to the family room and 
once again, playing with things and moving all around. I have a bunch of Dollar Tree pumpkins in that little wagon and a squirrel salt and pepper shaker that I spray painted gold last year in that wagon. I think they look cute in there together and now I just have to figure out how I kind of want them all placed together. Like I said, I move things around a lot. I didn't have anything for my coffee table. I realized like I was just out of stuff. So I took this grapevine wreath that I already had that's just, you know, plain. And then I found a little brown basket that I already had on hand and put some Dollar Tree pumpkins in and some random pumpkins that I had. I also had this boxwood stem that I added some of the stems into um, the basket just to add some green and a little bit of pop of color because it was kind of dark on there. But not super happy with the coffee table, but I made do with what I had, you know? You kind of have to do that sometimes. I wanted to get some new throw pillows this year, but I haven't. Let me tell you why. This little dog, Alan Bear, who looks like he's about to steal a pumpkin out of my coffee table thing, he also likes to chew on pillows. He likes to gnaw the corners off of them. Ugh, puppy life. So I have not bought any more um, throw pillows. So I'm just working with what I already have and the one little pillow that I got from Target Dollar Spot this year. I have no idea where the actual footage went of me decorating this TV stand, but this is what it ended up looking like. I just played around with stuff again. Now over to our little entryway table. This is where my husband loves to throw everything that he has when he gets home there. Receipts, keys, sunglasses. Kind of drives me nuts, but it's why I made the table because he used to just throw it on the counter. So at least it's kind of contained in one little spot. I used these pumpkins that I got from Target Dollar Spot last year and just played with them again and placed them around. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do over here, so I just did something simple. And then I took that appetizer, pumpkin appetizer plate that I got from Target Dollar Spot. I figured my husband can put his sunglasses and keys right on that little pumpkin appetizer plate. And then I just added in that welcome to our home um, sign from Dollar Tree that I got, what was it, back in spring. I threw that in there. I thought that would look cute together. So Now it's time to decorate the coffee bar. I was going to put that little wreath up on the mirror, but I didn't have anything to put it up there right now, so I just stuck it underneath the cake stand where we keep our like little stirs and cinnamon and stuff for the coffee. And then I added a plate to the top of my, um, what is this, coffee mug holder, and I wanted to add a little bit of greenery up there, so I took some eucalyptus leaves that I already had on hand and spread them around. I decided I would add a little Dollar Tree pumpkin on top just to add a little pop of orange right there.
And then I just continue to add some of the Target Dollar Spot and Dollar Tree stuff that I've hauled this year. And once again, just played with it, moved it around, moved it around again until I decided, okay, it's good enough. We'll leave it and move on. And now to decorate my new table that is over my dog crate that I shared in my last video. I basically was out of fall stuff. I had no more to use. So I grabbed that thankful and blessed sign that I actually had that I was going to share in a Dollar Tree haul. I grabbed it out of a bag and threw that up there. And then just some other random things I had on hand. I took that other throw pillow off of the couch and added it over here. Definitely needs you know a little bit more decor to this area but I haven't really gone shopping and added anything else to it so this is what it is for now since this table is right in my office next to my desk I'm keeping different things up there that I need in my office so that's part of the decor as well like but I'm just so excited that I even have this table to be able to decorate and it's not just a giant eyesore anymore with Alan Bear's giant cage I still want to do the little curtains on um, the side of it so that will be coming soon hopefully but for now it still looks way better than just a giant cage there so I'm a happy girl I hope you guys enjoyed this fall decorate with me. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to subscribe. Stay tuned because later this week I have another fall DIY video and a Dollar Tree haul that is now gonna be a collective haul because I have slowly been collecting some things, never really got a chance to film it, so it will be one big old collective haul, so stay tuned for that. And I will also link in the bottom bar my fall DIYs from last year because I had a couple videos that I did fall DIYs then, as well as my Halloween DIYs that I did last year as well. And I've got a Halloween DIY that I have to start working on that I'm really excited about, hopefully it turns out well. So that's all coming soon, so definitely make sure you subscribe and leave in the comments below, are you decorating? for Halloween as well as fall do you do separate like a fall and a Halloween or do you combine them together I would love to know what you guys are doing like I said a lot of this stuff is going to be changed up in like less than a week or so if all goes as planned thank you all so much for watching I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you in my next video bye